Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookandwomey.com and me, Crafty Scrapper, here on YouTube and Instagram. And we are making our next page in our collage journal. So if you are journaling, crafting along with me, this is our next page. So we did the front cover, we did the inside front cover, back cover, inside back cover, have pockets in there. And then we are going to do January's page today. So however you are doing your journal, your collage journal, it's time to get out your January page and let's get that all collaged up and then leave room on the back for our journaling for the month and i won't do my journaling until the end of the month because it's like a recap of of the month and we're just now pretty much in the middle of the month so i'll wait to do that um i'm thinking i want to use a little bit of this that i have from my uh, buy me a coffee uh, it was the uh, latest freebie that I have on there and I'm thinking that I might want to put one of these on the back I don't know I don't know but I think I want to use at least that butterfly right there on the front of that one um, I also want to put a little piece of something from my January Coco Daisy kit and um, this kit was a little wilder than what I prefer usually. But it does have some elements in here, natural elements. See, like that. I want to use that somewhere on there. It has some natural elements in it too that um, uh, lean more toward um, coloring. Uh, let's look at this paper and see if there's something in here I might can pull from. It might be a little too wild. Hmm. I think I might get a little bit of, of this confetti to use on there. So let's rip a piece of that. Okay, I just got some more stuff out of my scrap pile. And let's see what we can figure out with all of this. I think I will just do a little piece of this one. And I like the strip thing, doing the strips like we've done before in this collage journal, but it doesn't have to be all like that thinking maybe I want to put that one that way and then just do a small piece of this wood grain somewhere and then maybe a circular piece of this and I think I want it as like a little background here and add some little do lollies around and let's do a little thin strip of this green watercolor somewhere and then we've got this here I need to do this a little smaller. All right, I'm get my messy mat up here. And I'm going to put this piece down first. Just get me quite a bit of glue. And you can also spread that glue out with one of our silicone spreaders. We have these in the shop. 
scrapbookingwithme.com. It just works really good with glue and gesso and things like that. So I love these silicone spreaders. I'm just going to put that down. And then I'm going to put down more glue. Okay, and then I did not um, ink those two pieces. Um, they were bigger, and I will ink around the edges, so it'll eventually get inked. But I'm using the Forest Moss Distress Oxide Ink from Tim Holtz for this layout, this page in my collage journal. Look how good that green goes along with that one. Love that. I'm not going to worry about the bottom of this because I'll come back and do more distress inking around the edges. I'm going to put that one down there. And then I need this piece inked just probably on the top since the edges are not going to be seen and I'm going to put more glue down there and tuck that back behind there and I'll cut off any excess that I have of any of these get my towel and wipe off this excess I've got down here at the bottom. Mm, loving this and I'm not really a big pink fan but I really like this. And then I think maybe let's put this one back behind that so pull that back up and ink the top of this one. I'm going to go ahead and ink the sides just in case they are seen and glue the back here I think that's the last little layered piece I'm going to have so I'm not going to worry about any more glue for the back sides of things I do need to put some more right here because it's not staying down all right so there's our little layers I'm going to trim this in a minute and I've got this one left to put on. Maybe I'll put that one that way with that like that. I like that. Okay, let's ink this piece. Collaging, you know, it's just a bunch of layers. You just put on a bunch of layers and see how it looks and then when you get all the layers put on there and for some reason you don't like how something looks cover it up with another piece of scrap of something easy easy that's why I love collaging so easy to fix a mistake people will be like oh yeah you meant you totally meant to do that right no I did not but that's how it worked out and it worked out really well this forest moss goes really 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 well with this paper I mean, it almost identically matches that cool yep i want it to go there let's pick this up Ooh, i don't want to tear my page and let's put this on here all right, I'm going to get my scissors and cut around the edges of my page, making sure not to cut my page. And if you get a little bit of tearing like I did, um, just remember you're going to be putting paper on both sides, and then you're going to be, if you're doing it with a um, zutter or, you know, a system like that, then you're going to be putting paper on both sides and then recutting or re-punching those holes. So you should be good 
it'll reinforce that page for you. Okay. You know, when before you cut it out to the size of the um, page, it kind of looks like a hot mess. But then look at there. It looks all pretty again. Okay, I'm going to go around the edges with my forest moss. And then I'll go through and make sure that I've got enough glue on things. Alright, now for that butterfly I was talking about in the very beginning. I like that. I think it will go fine on there. So I'm going to trim this out. Okay, so yeah, I like that. I like the um, little piece here that I cut from Coco Daisy with the butterfly over the top like that. So I really, really like that. Let's go ahead and ink the edges. And then with Coco Daisy, they have kiss cut die cuts. So it does have already adhesive on the back. So you just kind of bend it. And that gets that backing off very easy for you. I'm going to ink the edges of this butterfly. And I print, usually print my digitals. This is from the great Betty Ann Renfro. I usually print my digitals on a 28 pound, like the premium copy paper. But now, if I want something to stand alone, like a tag to go in a pocket, things like that, I print my digitals on 110-pound um, cardstock, and usually white. Now, sometimes I have used the um, cream-colored cardstock that we have in the shop, and it works really good if you want um, something to be uh, very vintage-looking. The cream colored cardstock is awesome. Okay, so there is my little layout for January. And I think I want to try to get the word January stamped in here. So I'm going to get my block. And this is all lowercase. I'm good with that. No worries whatsoever. I'm going to get my VersaFine ink. And I'm going to use um, the sepia. Vintage sepia VersaFine ink instead of black. And let's see how this goes. So I'm going to go over as far as I can. Since January is not one of the shortest months as far as letters. So there's our J. Alright, so there is January and no it is not perfect. Just how I like it. Okay, so I am going to put few little characteristics you dress up my letters a little bit this is just a black pen I'm just making a few little lines in my letters and then going in with a white gel pen along the edge of what I just did with the black one and I need okay so I will show you that up close my little accents that I did with the black and white pen I really like that let's do a little bit more distress inking around these corners and then of course now the back is going to be um pretty simple because we're going to be writing on the back but that is the front of our January and I think I might go ahead and write I'm hand lettering the words just simply new beginnings 
So there is the front of my January page. Now flip it over and like I said it doesn't need to be too frou-frou on the back because we're going to be journaling. I still want a collaged element to this and I'm thinking I'm just going to cover it with this and then do a few I need to glue that down do a few little collage pieces around but then have most of the middle open uh, for journaling so I'm going to put my glue down and use my silicone spreader okay and then I'm just going to put this on and I will cut off any excess okay I will ink around that in a minute I like that I don't think I want to add any splatters to that side um, I know that's crazy to hear from me but I don't I don't think I will add any splatters to that front side I think I will add that there inked with my walnut stain and then add some white or cream here to journal on or I might get that that works and it matches that little piece that January was stamped on so I think I'll do that put that there and put that underneath it and it goes with it and maybe add a little die cut of some kind at the bottom I'm going to close up my forest moss and get out my walnut stain ink this just a piece from my scrap pile now I'll put this on I think one of those little bitty die cuts from the Tim Holtz snippet collection will go really well Right, and let's get my glue torn. Yep, I like how that looks. So let's pull up on the bottom of this and we'll get that put up underneath that. I'm going to ink it with my walnut stain around the edges. this down okay and kind of center that up that looks good as a matter of fact and then a little bit of glue on the back side of this to get it back down and there went my stoppage all fixed now I didn't need all that glue thanks thanks a lot okay let's Spread the love. I want to add a little bit of this collage paper to this page too. And I can write over the top of that if I want to. 
So I'm just going to put down some glue. And then put down my collage piece. And then I'll put a die cut right there. So this is, you know, just a little synopsis of journaling. We're not... I have other journals for long, lengthy journaling. This is just kind of a summary of the month. So you can afford to put on decoration if you want to. Let's see. This is that little snippets die cut pack. And I really like that little, yep, I like that. But let's do a larger piece so we can journal on top of that if we want to. Yep, let's do some inking around it. And then glue and put that down and then our little stamped piece off to the edge there I like that and then I will trim off my excess collage paper there I like how that turned out. Just enough room for great journaling. I'm going to put my messy mat off to the side because we're done being messy for the time being. And I'm going to ink my edges, go back to the forest moss. And then I need to punch my holes again. So my holes will, I didn't think about this, my holes will probably interfere with my J on January. And it will come over some of this on my back. But that's just the hand you are dealt if you use a zutter or some kind of spiral spine. I'm okay with that. Alright, so what I do to line mine up is I get another page that's already got holes in it. I use it as my guide and put it in. Okay, so there's my top holes punched. I'm going to turn it around and line up one of those remaining holes <laughs> okay so when I punched my holes back for January it took most of the J off so in hindsight I should have moved January over some but oh well it's not the end of the world I'm good all right, let's line this back up, put in our January page, and then our cover. All right, so we have our cover, inside cover. There is our January page. Too cute. I love that. And then the back of January to journal on. And then we're ready for February. So I'll see you back here next month as far as for this kind of video, this video series. See you back here in February. And um, when that video comes around, I will show you my journaling that I did for January. And then we'll do our February page. So I hope you're enjoying the series. And if you are making along with me, tag me. Um, Melina Pilot or me Crafty Scrapper in your video or pictures so that I can see your 2022 collage journal. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all. God bless.